Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to do, let's just do a small little snippet of, I showed you the method for a string of is numeric, and I just wanted to throw that out there because it can be very handy, but let's just, let me give you a good example of how we could use this as a little bit of error handling before we get like crazy. So okay. These are all strings, right? So, but with this function, excuse me, with this method, for i n x, then we use, now, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's block this out. Run that. Okay, so x is our list. And then, we have, let's say y is equal to 3 is a string. So type y to string. So let's run our, we got y dot is numeric. Run that. It's true. So we're going to do this. So let's see that when we have a condition, if whatever this is is true, it will happen. Just a reminder. It's okay. Let's uncomment this. Okay. If, now remember, if this condition is true, so if true, so we're just going to type this in here. Now, since this was our variable, we used is numeric. So each time through a for loop, i is our variable. So i uh, is numeric. print i. So let's run this, see what happens. So we get 1 and 5. Because 1 is or the first one, second one, and then p. So now, now let's say we are taking input from a user and uh, with our input function it automatically is always a string by default. So now Let's say, close that out, times 2, and close this. So, there we go. Now let me show you if I got rid of the int, what would happen. So watch this. This is important. So, Alright, it took this as a string, and that as a string, and spit it out. So the int very important. Let's go back. So, turns this into a number because Python understands this, but this is only going to do this. Let's get rid of this and I'll show you what happens. So, I get rid of this condition. It's going to throw up everywhere. Boom. Because right here, value error. Because Python cannot transform this I get my two, I get my ten, but it's not a it's not a base ten number. It doesn't know what to do with it. So we got to have this condition. So this is very very cheesy, very simple, very easy to understand error handling. And I just wanted to throw that out to you because I know I did this numeric because I think that's a very handy method for strings and all kinds of things. So here's a quick little use for it. So I wanted to just throw that out. So don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell so you can keep these videos coming to you. And please leave any comments, questions, or video requests below and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are getting something out of this. Bye guys.